Okay, so now we move on to the CPU installation of PyTorch, which is extremely easy. And if you come from other frameworks, you start to realize how amazingly easy it is to install PyTorch with CPU support. So on the official website, there are instructions for you to follow on how you can install it on your CPU or your GPU. But to keep things simple, you can follow the instructions given here. So if you are familiar with installing by yourself, you can feel free to follow the instructions on the website. But for us, all you need to need to know is that if you're installing on Linux and Mac OS, you have the same exact command. As you can see here, it's conda install pytorch torch vision dash c salmif. And you get the exact same command on Mac OS. And to give you an example of how simple it is to install this package, all you need to do is to throw up your command line. So you have your command line here and you just do conda, just lift it up here, install pytorch Touch vision dash c salmith. And there you go. That's it. That is run its course. And with this, we can begin all the code that we will do in the coming introductory courses. Now, it will take some time for this, and don't worry too much about it. It should probably take then, oh, it's going to take less than a minute or so. So you can see here, um, I've already installed PyTorch and Torch Vision. If you already have an existing installation, don't be afraid to do this same command again because what happens is that if you have an old version, it will automatically update your old version to the latest distribution here, which as you can see is 0 0.1.12. Um, I'll talk to you more about what is Torch Vision. For now, you don't have to worry too much about it.